Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Slow Dancing by V on the piano. Very, very calm and beautiful tune. Okay, give you a preview before we start learning it. Alright, let's get right into it. So, melody and chords, that's the foundation, and afterwards you can add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make your own versions. So, let's break it up to two parts, it's easy to learn. First part, right hand starts on the C here, so middle C, C here for reference, we go up an octave C, that's where we start. Alright, let's start right now. So, we're literally, first part, I just C, E flat, play twice. So, back to C, E flat again. So, that's the right hand for the first part. Left hand, we have two chords. The two chords are F minor 7, which is F, A flat, C, E flat. And then second chord is B flat 7, which is B flat, D, F, A flat. So with these two chords in mind, so F minor 7 followed by B flat 7, the two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts after E flat chord by itself. And then right hand continues after E flat chord by itself, like that. Like that for the first part. Let's learn it again. It goes here, two, three four here two three okay now moving on to the second part right continues it goes f d down to b flat down to g up to d flat c b flat that's it for the right hand let's learn it again it goes f d b flat down to g up to d flat c b flat that's it for the right hand left hand two chords here we have g minus seven which is g b flat d f and then second chord we here we have uh, you can either do C augmented, or you can just, just do a simple C7, okay? You can do C, E, G, B flat, okay? Or you can do this, C, E, G sharp, okay? Okay, depends on what you kind of like better. But anyways, you can just keep it simple, just do C7, okay? So two hands together, right hand starts, together, here. Yeah, so you can do that with a C7, or you can do, yeah, yeah, more funky for the C augments chord. All right, so yeah, up to you. Pick one and go with it, okay? But anyways, so yeah, so you can do or yeah, just pick one and yeah, go with it, okay? So turns for the two parts will be played back to back like this. Repeat. Yeah, so once you get the melody and chords all good, you can start to add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make your own version. Left hand, you can do octave bass and arpeggios and arpeggios. Yeah, rhythm patterns. That kind of thing. And right hand, you're going to harmonize it based on the chords to make a thickened texture. Let's play around. Yeah, just play around and have fun, okay? So awesome tune. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, by the way. If you want to learn other beautiful tunes like this, search up your favorite song name followed by Amos on the YouTube search to find those other lessons to learn for yourself. As for now, if you want to learn more piano from me, you can check out my piano courses on my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below. So yeah, if you like my teaching method, my teaching style, how I break down everything in step by step, you can check out my piano memberships there and my other piano books piano services, sheet music, and a lot more there. So make sure to check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson.